faxing and scanning on the Konica Minolta Biz Hubs. In order to do the fax or scan option, there is a hard button at the bottom called fax and scan. You can select that to get to the screen. You also have the option to go to the menu choice, and from there you'll see a fax and scan option there. Once you get to the fax scan option, if you do have a fax on that machine, you would be able to hit just the 10 keypad and go ahead and just dial the number as you would on any machine. Go ahead and hit start and it will go set that fax out. If you hit OK, it will bring you back to the main screen and you can choose options before you send. The other option is you may have a fax number that is already programmed into the address book and in the address book you could then select it in fax. Uh, the fax option also is the same for some of the scanning features you can do. So one of the scanning options is scan to email. You also have options to scan to folders. Here we have a scan to email option. I can come and just choose the name of the person I'm going to email it to. Once I choose that name, I can just hit start and it will send an email to that person. As far as the options below, those are the settings that are currently on. So an example of that is the file name. As we do the file name, you can choose to change the name of the document as it, as it is going to be sent to you. You can just select that field, you can clear out the old name, and add a new name to that document. You can also do the same for the subject. One thing to keep in mind is that the email of the machine will always be the same. It will come from that machine. The other options that you do have down below the file type, we have ours set up to a default to a compact PDF. You can also choose other features such as JPEG or a PowerPoint. If I hit OK, it will bring me back to that option. We can choose single-sided or double-sided originals as well as many other settings. There is an option called original settings that you can also choose what direction the document is facing in the feeder. It assumes that it is facing so you could read it. But if you do have to turn it, you can tell it so, so that you don't get a sideways PDF once you do get that from your, um, from your desk. There's also options in here for things such as blank page removal, which will remove blanks if you do have a two-sided document or something like that. Always choose the settings and hit start when you're ready. We do still have an application key, which will be the additional features that are available. And up there you can do other things such as erasing around the edges and choosing some of the options as well as resolution uh, for that scan.